Good evening, y'all, and welcome back to the kitchen. Uh, I'm going to make a, a sweet dessert. I don't know if you want to call it. It's not bread, but it's not a cookie. It's similar to a brownie, but it's made with brown sugar and butter and, of course, flour and all. And uh, my Aunt Audrey gave me this recipe back in the late 80s or early 90s and it's delicious. It's very moist, very chewy. She called it chew bread, like C-H-E-W, chew it up, chew bread. But she got it from Granny Culberth, and Granny Culberth called it chewies. So we're going to make some chew bread or chewies or brown sugar nut bread, whatever you want to call it. Call me when it's done because it's delicious. Y'all come on over to the mixer and we'll get it all mixed up and uh, in the oven. Okay, in my bowl I've already got one stick of butter and I'm just going to cream that just a little bit. It's soft. And I need to add one pound of brown sugar. Now I buy it in the two pound bags, so I just simply got my food scale out and weighed me out a pound of brown sugar. So I'm going to cream this. Okay, now I need to add three eggs. Get me a dish to crack them in. And cream that one while I crack another one. That's two. And three. I'm going gonna... I'm gonna to scrape the bowl down a little bit to make sure that my brown sugar and butter and those three eggs are all blended well. Now I need to add two cups of self-rising flour. Now if you don't have self-rising flour, you can use two cups of all-purpose flour and add two teaspoons of baking powder and one-fourth teaspoon of salt. Let me get this blended. We need to add one teaspoon of vanilla. And mix that in. When I looked at the recipe again, it's a tablespoon of vanilla, so that's three teaspoons. I guess it's that much because of the brown sugar. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm going to scrape it down again. And then I'm going to add my nuts. Now, I could add any kind of nuts to it, but I'm going to do pecans. Walnuts would be good in it. And it's a thick batter. That's why it reminds me of brownies. So I whizzed up about a cup of pecans, chopped them really fine, and I'm just going to dump them in, mix them up, and we'll be ready to put this in the oven. I got my June oven preheating to 350. Let me get these beaters cleaned and get this ready and we'll be over at the booze block putting it in the pan. Okay. Let me get this thick, delicious dough in there. There's a candy that I used to like and I still like it. I just don't buy candy very often. It's called Maple Nut Goodies. And that's kind of the flavor that this reminds me of. Thank you. 
and it is scrumptious smelling. I guess it's just that brown sugar. Lordy mercy, it smells good. Okay, that's just about as smooth as I can get it. I'm going to bang my pan a few times and see if it'll go down a little bit more, but that's about the best I can do. Okay. I'm going to put it over there in the June oven at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes and I'll check it. <clears throat> I didn't put the time down on my recipe card so I'll just have to watch it. I think 20 to 30 minutes is going to do it, but I'll let y'all know. Okay, I've got it out of the oven. It cooked 30 minutes at 350. See how it crackles on the top and then the inside is so chewy. I'm going to let it cool and then I'll cut a piece and show y'all what it looks like. There it is cut and on the plate and look, it's just moist and wonderful on the inside. You know how I've been telling y'all to make some family um, recipes and some things that they look forward to? Well, I remember having this at Aunt Audrey's house years and years ago. My kids would think it was back in the dinosaur days, back in the 80s. And I've made it at my house ever since. So add some recipes to your box and make it regulars for a particular holiday or just make an old regular day a holiday and treat your family good. These... Um, chew bars or whatever you want to call them are so moist and chewy that's why they're called chew or chewies they're uh, the brown sugar gives them that molasses wonderful flavor and then the pecans oh my goodness y'all need to try this they're very good I'm gonna get over here and clean up the kitchen and go over there and put on my thinking cap and see what I'm gonna make for y'all to have on Saturday so take care of yourself sit down at the supper table with no electronics in your hands or beside you enjoy your family enjoy a good meal together around the table be sure and say your prayers we all need the good lord to protect us during this time well we need him all the time but when it's something unusual we really need to talk to him about putting a shield around us y'all have a good evening have a good week and uh, I'll be back in a few days with a good recipe. The good Lord bless y'all and keep you.